Hello, it's Jason Payne with JDP Realty Group, a coal banker, Dan Hopper Realtors. Well, today I'm at one of my favorite Texas Hill Country towns, Bernie, Texas. It's located in the northwest part of the San Antonio area, just off I-10. And let me tell you, this town is dripping with Texas charm. But don't just take my word for it. Let me show you by going for a ride, a realtor ride. All right, we're gonna start our realtor rides tour of Bernie, Texas. We're just south of it. Uh, up here is their access to I-10. It's just about two, well, about a mile down the road that way. I wanna start off outside the Old Town main area just because, just to get an idea that, that we do have regular stuff here. You are gonna have your regular grocery stores and all that good stuff. But where we are, if you're not familiar with the San Antonio area, we are about 20 minutes north of 1604 and I-10. Down there, that's where you're gonna have, near 1604 is where you're gonna have the world famous La Quintera shopping district with the Louis Vuitton and all that good stuff. Um, but you're also gonna have Six Flags Fiesta Texas, easy access if you're working at UTSA, but this is a small Texas hill country town, Bernie, Texas. I mean, look at that church there. It's really cool. And uh, I love it. It's just a little bit quieter walk of life. I just missed the military thing. But uh, another historical marker there. Traffic's picking up a little bit because as I'm doing this, brush hour's starting to get up. But we're coming into the old town area on main street and it is so freaking cool there's lots of events out here um one of my favorite every year is what they have dickens on main and from like this point on on the road where we cross over uh Cibolo creek there they block it all off and this just becomes a dreamland christmas festival type thing i mean they do it up so cool but uh, check out this town, so much neat shopping and restaurant. You can tell this is an old Western town that they've kept up on. And it is so cool. I'm gonna try to drive slow, but uh, not impede traffic too much. But lots of bakeries, uh, beer gardens, uh, antique shops. And don't worry if you missed it the first time coming through, I'm gonna come back down through here, but just look at this whole area. Me and my wife love coming up and uh, shopping in this area. Or just hanging out and spending the day. I mean, there's just a lot to do in Bernie. This building here, there's like a maze of other little shopping in there. Just so many cool buildings and places to go eat at and shop at. We do have Black Rifle Coffee here. It's kind of neat. Uh, there's Black Rifle Coffee right there. And I always get a kick out of the Black Rifle Coffee place and a gun store. So you can buy some coffee and an AR at the same time. During Christmas time, this square here, get, you see the little pavilion there. They have carolers in it and... Um, Lots and lots of little Christmas booths set up back there. For lots of different event uh, venues going on. I mean, such a cool place to be at. Some uh, really old hotels to go to. I mean, it's such a cool place to be. Except for when you're stuck in traffic. But well, this isn't going to be a super long tour. It's not like when I'm doing a realtor rides tour of the community. I just kind of want to show off some of the downtown Bernie area. We do have some great schools here. Bernie ISD is one of the tops in tech. Pardon me. It tops in Texas. Um, so no fear of what type of education your kiddos would get if you're moving to this area. Um, it is, uh, it's great for that. All right, we're just about leaving the super cool area for walking around. But there are still some, uh, 
cool churches here because this place has been around forever. All right, let me turn around and we're gonna go back through again just in case you missed something. Because as we're going through here now, you're just gonna get in some real old houses and uh, this kind of loops you back around towards I-10 and you get onto I-10 and continue on to Kerrville. And Kerrville's a cool town too. It's just a super small town. So there are quite a few really nice communities to live at in here and to include all the way up I-10 uh, you got like Fair Oaks Ranch um, there's lots of different communities if you want to live in between 1604 and Bernie and that way you have even better access to the greater San Antonio area but still come down the road to Bernie if you want to or up the road because we're north but um, Having all this just at your fingertips is really neat. I actually live about 45 minutes from here, but me and my wife still come out and it's like, hey, let's go spend the day in Bernie because it's just that neat of a place to go do things at. And if you are moving to the area, I highly recommend doing just that. It's like, hey, what small Texas Hill Country town do we want to come visit? Because there's a lot of them between like Fredericksburg, Blanco, Johnson City. I really like uh, Johnson City because um, you got, um, you do have uh, like the Lavender Festival there in Johnson City that's coming up pretty soon. And if you take a left at Johnson City in 281, that begins our wine road. And that wine road goes all the way from Johnson City to Fredericksburg. And people were surprised at the wine scene here in Texas. It's a lot nicer than what people think. And some great wine tasting room venues out there. Yeah, I'll just leave it right here. All right, let me try to slow down a little bit. This is like the heart of the shopping area. Bernie Grill. Um, there's one little beer garden place that I think just passed my view that I really like going to. It's just like great sandwiches, great place to go have a beer or a glass of whiskey and just enjoy the day. But of course, the antique shops. All right, we're gonna get there through the downtown area again back there I think yeah that was where my beer little tucked away beer garden place was at bakery and cafe lots lots of little gems of places to go eat at and I love it here well we're gonna make a left here on River Road let's show you a few more good places to eat at uh, if you have seen my video of where the dodging duck, I love eating at the dodging duck. But it's right down the road here too. But I mean, just look at the scenery. I mean, what other towns have this in it? Well, there are other towns that have this in it, I know. I'm not naive, but man, this is one of them and it's pretty darn nice. The Bernie River Road Park. Cool place. There's the Dodging Duck, which I videoed before. And some more neat little shops back there. Cibolo Creek and the Dobbs Cocktail Bar. And like I said, a lot of little restaurants where you can just kind of hop up and walk from different place to different place if you want to. All right, that's going to wrap up this area here because we're getting out of the downtown Bernie area. And uh, let me find a good place and do my little wrap-up talk. All right, that's going to wrap up our Realtor Rides tour of one of my favorite Texas Hill Country town, Bernie, Texas. If you're interested in moving to this part of Texas, 
feel free to reach out to me. I am a real estate agent trying to grow my business and I'll be happy to help you or someone on my team can help you. Anyways, make sure you like and subscribe and hey, don't be afraid to leave some comments. I like answering them. All right, talk to you soon. Take care now. Bye.